welcome back to Tammy's Kitchen. I'm Tammy Gibson and today we're going to be taking a trip to Old Italy. We're going to be doing a few twists on some Italian favorites and I'm really not sure that cheesecake is Italian but for the sake of this episode I'm saying that it is and we're going to start off by making uh, some mini cheesecakes um, for our dessert. So in my dish here, I have two thirds of a cup of crushed graham crackers and two tablespoons of sugar. And to that, I'm going to add some butter here to make our crust. And you can see I've got my muffin pan out here already with some liners in it. Uh, we're going to make these individual size cheesecakes. Hello, CVTV land and welcome back to Tammy's Kitchen. We're going to be whipping up some nutty treats today, so we're going to call this our peanut butter bonanza. I love peanut butter. I don't know. A lot of people kind of turn their nose up at it, but I think it's really good and it's sort of nutritious. But at any rate, we're going to be making uh, several peanut butter treats today, and we're going to start with a peanut butter sheet cake. So in my pan here, I've got a stick and a half of butter. I've got a half a cup of peanut butter and a cup of water. So we're going to take that to the stove and bring it to a boil. And while that's cooling, then we'll start assembling the rest of our cake ingredients. Okay, we're mixing up the rest of our ingredients for our peanut butter sheet cake. And I've got to tell you just a little bit about this recipe. This is the best kind of recipe. It's tried and true, and it's handed down from people who know how to cook. And I've tried it. It is wonderful. This is a recipe from Nelba Shockley. And she is a cousin to my coworker, Bev Harrington. Bev has made this cake a few times and brought it into work, and it is wonderful. I love it. So I hope you guys like it too. And thank you, Nelva Lee, for sharing your recipe with us. I appreciate it. So I've got two cups of sugar, two cups of flour, and a teaspoon of baking soda in my bowl. And to that, we're going to add two eggs and a teaspoon of vanilla. and a half a cup of buttermilk. I used a powdered buttermilk that it comes dry and you just mix it with water. Um, I think it works great and that way you don't have to fool with buying that container of buttermilk at the store because what are you going to do with the rest of it? So. Our cake and our cookies are both out of the oven and cooling on the back counter, so we're going to mix up our frosting for the sheet cake. I um, need to put it on the cake while the cake is still warm, not piping hot, but while it's still warm. So I've got a stick of butter and a half a cup of peanut butter in my bowl here, and I'm going to add a couple teaspoons of vanilla. and five tablespoons of water. Okay, I'm gonna mix those up before I add our powdered sugar. Okay, now we're going to add three and a half cups of powdered sugar. Powdered sugar makes such a mess. I usually get it all over the kitchen. And I'm sure it will blow all over the place once I start the mixer. Oh. I did good. I didn't make a huge mess. I think that's a little thick. I'm going to thin it down just a little bit. Okay, I'll check my cake and see if it's cooled enough to put that on there. I think our cake is just about right here, so we're going to go ahead and put 
this frosting on here. Try and get every bit of that out. Don't want any of that to go to waste. I think that looks really good. I can't wait to try a piece. Okay, our next recipe is going to be an Asian soy peanut noodle. So a little bit different twist with the peanut butter rather than something sweet, but I thought this might be a nice change of pace. So I've got some water um, on the stove to boil, and as soon as that comes to a boil, we're gonna add a half a pound of spaghetti noodles or you can use whatever kind you like. The recipe said, you know, you could use soba noodles or whatever kind, you know, you prefer. So as soon as our water boils, we're gonna put the spaghetti in and get our noodles cooking, and then we're gonna mix up the sauce to put on that. So I've got a couple of tablespoons of peanut butter and a clove of garlic in there. So to that, I'm gonna add a half a tablespoon of vegetable oil. And then we're gonna add two tablespoons of soy sauce. It calls for two to three, depending on your taste. So I might do just a shade more. Okay, and then it calls for a teaspoon of vinegar. So I'm gonna go a little bit light on the vinegar. I don't know, sometimes that gets to be a little overpowering. So we'll let's stir that up a little bit. And then I've got to get some honey to add to this to give a little bit of sweetness. Certainly smells like something Asian. I keep whisking here, that peanut butter's breaking up in there, so it's gonna break down and get smooth. Just letting all that honey run out of my measuring spoon. Okay, and then we're gonna add a couple of chopped green onions. The recipe calls for scallions, but I think this will do. Okay, in went the pasta, so we'll just give this a toss here. Be a nice side dish with your chicken or your shrimp or your steak. It smells good. I will have to try some. Well, that wraps it up for our peanut butter bonanza. I hope you've enjoyed some of our peanut butter recipes. Try this sheet cake at home. It is wonderful. And again, thanks to Nelba Shockley for sharing her recipe. If you'd like to have any of the recipes we've made today, please email recipes at shirtandvalley.com. Thanks for joining us today, and I'll see you around the valley. Mm -hmm.